Hello and welcome to the demo of TaskQuest 10. In this demo we will see how TaskQuest 10 works together with an unit. First, we will install an unit adapter for Visual Studio 2012 using Extension Manager. We open Extension Manager and go to Online Extensions, type in an unit in the search box, and then select Download for an unit adapter and click Install. Finally, when installation is completed, we choose to restart Visual Studio. After Visual Studio has restarted, we open Test Explorer. The project configuration will include a reference to an unit framework DLL. It is installed as a part of an unit which you can download from an unit.org. Now we are ready to start writing tests. Let's look at the class EVA test. In this file, we will be using an unit framework and test quest namespaces. The class should have a test fixture attribute and should contain a couple of methods that will support testing environment. The setup method will be executed once before all the tests and will create a target. This target is configured in the test quest toolbar. The teardown method will dispose of the target after all the tests are executed. Let's create our first test from a method that sends a key sequence to the target. If you put a test attribute on top of it and build a project, then the test will show up in a test explorer automatically. Before we run the test, we will open a device pane that represents the device attached to the computer. Then we can right click and run the test. And we can see that the home key sequence will quickly bring the device to the home screen. After test is completed, we can see the status and the timing of the test execution. Let's see how we can execute tests line by line in debug mode. We'll create another method that will send some information into a form and then call send me home method. It is perfectly fine to call one test from the other. So we build it and we have another test. To stop in the middle of the test, we put a breakpoint on the second line. Then we can open a device pane to preview execution and run in debug mode. We will see that the first line will get executed automatically and will stop on the second line. Then we can step over and execute the next line. We will see that the last name now is getting entered. Then we step into and we will see that now we are in the send me home method. The execution is finished and we see the status and the time of execution. So what if we need to create a test that will work in a similar way but with different data? We will create a method with two parameters, integer x and y, for clicking some screen coordinate on the device. We will open the asset editor to define coordinates for clicking. For people icon and mail icon, you will see them in the lower right corner, right below the image. Then we will use test case attribute with the necessary values that will be passed to the x and y parameters. And when we build, we have a new test case. We can add a new one with different values, build it, and have a new test. Every time you add a test case, it will be a new test that you can execute separately. We'll add send me home call, so after each click we'll go home. To preview execution, we'll open the device pane, and then we can run all not run test or just select them together and say run selected tests. We will see mail screen and then address book screen just for a split second because the tests were executed very quickly. It was two seconds and one second respectively. We can put a breakpoint and start debug mode to make sure that both test cases were executed and device first goes to the mail screen and stops and we continue execution and then it comes to the address book screen and then we finish them up. Now execution took much longer, it was 10 seconds and 7 seconds respectively because of the breakpoint and we stop in the middle. Now let's see how an unit can run TaskQuest test outside of the Visual Studio environment. We package our project using TaskQuest packaging tool from the TaskQuest toolbar. And then we can unpack it on any machine that has an unit and TaskQuest 10 installed. Let's say we extract the package on the remote machine in a folder called run. And 
then go to this folder and find a DLL, right click and we can run tests right from there. The end unit GUI will be open and from there we can execute the tests individually so we can see how it goes to one screen and then the other contact screen or we can execute them together if we select a parent node. Thank you for watching this demo. More videos and more information you will find on our website www.testquest.com. Bye bye.